Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the Faster XP 2012 series, which is a revision of the old Faster XP series I did back when I first started. And in this video, we're going to talk about cleaning your Windows XP registry. Now remember, this video series is every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, and there's going to be other video series, other series of video, more series of video. I, I just cannot decide how to say I'm going to have to Google that, how I'm supposed to say that coming on it's not just gonna be this one um, and in this video uh, it's kind of a debated issue with registry cleaners that's why I only really recommend a high quality registry cleaner uh, most people use either C cleaner or they use Glary utilities personally I like to use Glary utilities I like the interface better uh, but it really it's more personal preference they both do the same thing they don't both do a good job what is a registry cleaner some of you might ask a registry cleaner just goes in and it checks to see if your registry is congested with a bunch of junk files. Now some people say, yeah, registry cleaners will reduce some disk space. That's not really the benefit. I think the, the real benefit comes in actual disk access times uh, when your programs go out to grab those registry entries and there's a lot less junk for them to siphon through. And there's also less chance of when you install a program later, there being program association inconsistencies. So there's a lot of advantages to a registry cleaner, but it's not an exact science. So, uh, but like I said, you can probably, you can trust this one and you can trust CCleaner. I don't want to say probably. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up Glary Utilities here. Um, I got that spiel out of the way. And uh, once we open up Glary Utilities, they have a built-in registry cleaner. Now, it's, it opens up on this one-click maintenance. I actually don't recommend you use the registry cleaner in the one-click maintenance. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. If you go to modules up here at the top, and then you go to registry cleaner under the clean and repair tab, it's going to open up a whole separate registry cleaner. Now, the reason it's important to use this one instead of the one that's built into the one-click maintenance, I've discovered since I've done my previous videos, is that this one will actually create a previous repair restore point. So if in the off chance you do have some kind of registry issue after running this, some instability or something going wrong, again, it's rare, extremely rare, but if you do, you'll be able to restore that actual registry cleaner and then just don't touch it anymore. All right, it's not worth the risk, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. All you gotta do is click scan registry for problems. It's gonna scan through your entire system registry. Now in my situation, it only found one because I actually did this video before. And so there was about 70 of them before. And then you wanna click repair. And it says you've successfully repaired it and click close. Now on the left hand side, I can select restore previous repairs and you'll see that there's a backup of my original registry before I restored it. Now for some reason, Glary didn't have the foresight to actually create a backup restore point if you do the automatic one, one click tune up. And so that's, to me, don't do it that way. You know what I mean? Make sure you go into this registry cleaner and you do it this way. You always wanna, optimization's great, but you still always wanna make wise decisions when you're doing your optimizations. So that's all there is to this video. That's how you actually clean your system registry on Windows XP. And, and remember, if you have any questions, you can swing by the website. Now, I have this new program. It's called the PCM Techies, and it's a community. It's been going for a few weeks now. And you can just come in there, and there's all kinds of advantages to becoming a techie. You get free tech support. There's a cool community. I love my community. They're awesome. Uh, you can talk about whatever you want. Uh, you can log in with Facebook now. So it's like really easy to connect and you can add friends and you can do the whole social networking thing if you like that. Uh, but I, I really kind of encourage you guys if you have questions to, to move over to that community. It's completely free and it just kind of gives me a better platform to communicate with you guys if you have problems. So again, that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by and stay tuned to the Faster XP 2012 series. In fact, stay tuned to the PCM Tech Help Show. There's plenty of videos that are going to be coming in the future. Now remember, I'm just one guy, so it's going to take me a little bit of time to get things moving. And I appreciate your patience on that. I know you guys want, you're like, I don't have Windows XP. I get it. I got that. Okay, I'm going to move. Not, it's not just doing XP stuff. So anyways, I'll let you go. And uh, don't forget, you can subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, follow on Twitter. And I'm connected to just about any social network you can imagine. You can find me. Just Google my name. I'll be there. As always, have a great day.